Hey guys, back again, and today, guys, this video is going to be me playing pretty much Cold War Zombies and talking about how, from what I've heard, so I want to do solo because it's just, you know, where's what I want to do again? I keep forgetting what the bloody hell is I do. I have played this game, guys, in about five months. Literally, I haven't played it in, in, you know, a long time. The last time I did a gameplay on it, guys, was actually the last time I did it on the channel. That's how long it's been. So, you know, I even missed out doing the um, battle pass. So, I have no idea what's what, guys. I didn't get it done again. Uh, as you can see, guys, I messed up. Apparently, what the hell is this doing? Right. Okay. I sort to do with Vanguard shit. Well, that doesn't matter to me. I haven't got it. So, yeah. But right, guys. So, right. I've heard a lot of things about the Vanguard, like I said. And, uh, you know, the wife really did want to pick it up. And I said, you know, I wasn't bothered. After the, um, the fuck-ups with these ones, I just couldn't be bothered anymore, guys. And so I didn't get it. Uh, and all I've heard so far, guys, is bad things. I've had one guy tell me that basically it is the same as this. It's not on the disc again, guys. You've got massive updates and patches and shit. Whether or not that's true or not, I don't know. I didn't fork out 55 quid to find out. So, uh, but with the fact that it was, it was told that it needed the internet, guys, and that lot, I started to think, yeah, you know, the guy was right. I've heard that the zombies is broken and all sorts is wrong with that. So, um, like I said, guys, I'll... and, you know, I'm I'm kind of feeling like a lot of other people have jumped on the bandwagon. And, you know, it's not because it's the same recycled shit as people are saying. It's got nothing to do with that for me. It's long-term play for me. And I don't see the point, guys, in paying... 55 60 pound for a game and they just pretty much tell you to go fuck yourself because <clears throat> at the end of the day guys that's all they're doing they're like yeah we'll take you 60 pound per game and you can go fuck yourself because that's all it is guys right long story short yeah who remembers back in the day when you'd buy a game and go home and it was what it was you know it wasn't the shit they show today. So... I don't know. I mean, I've heard people go on. They try and defend it by turning around. Like I said, guys, yeah, they say to you, well, it's because the size of the game. It's the, it's the size of the game. They don't all fit on the disc anymore. I say to you, without all respect, go fuck yourself. Because you, 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 you're making fucking solutions for them. Because at the end of the day, guys, right? Who remembers PlayStation 1 games like Final Fantasy 7? Final Fantasy 8? Fucking fear effect. Stuff like that. They put them games on four discs. Four. They didn't say get the first disc and the other fucking three discs to download. That's what it would be today, guys. That's the shit we deal with today. Like the fucking Telltale games. You get to buy the disc and it's just an unlock pass. You get the first fucking part of the story. Part two, three, four, five, and six is fucking download. And it's bollocks. When you buy a go from day then, you know, you don't buy a fucking game and then expect it to be broken piece of shit. I mean, I've sold things, guys, yeah, on eBay, for example. I've sold it in fully working order, and to my knowledge, they've told me it was didn't work on their console. Did, I, did they turn around and go, don't worry about it, I'll just say fuck it, and I'll keep it anyway? No. I had to give them their money back, guys, you know? And that's, that's understandable. I would expect that from anything. Well, I don't want that shit. I'll speak on my behalf, not for everyone else, because at the end of the day, I can't speak for everyone else. But, you know, the ratings don't lie, do it, when people ain't buying it anymore. Now, some people ain't buying it because they reckon it's recycled shit and it's the same game over and over and over and over and over. It's not that for me. It's not that for me. At the end of the day, yeah, I know what I'm getting when I buy it. But... I don't want to buy it because I'm being put off by the fact that I need to have an update on day one. I need to have a patch on day one. Can I play, you know, what should be basically on the disc from day one, being the campaign and bot mode? Nope. 
Nope, can't play any of that on day one. You've got to do an update and a patch. And I think, fuck it. I'm not giving them £60 for a fucking game that's half finished. I wouldn't mind, right, if the update and the patch, guys, was for the multiplayer. Because at the end of the day, right, the online multiplayer part should be added in last. And I wouldn't mind if there's an update and a patch for that. Because when the game servers die, and they will eventually, guys, that's it. That's technically it, guys, you know, is the online is done with it. You you don't care that you can't play that bit anymore. You know, but bot mode is bot mode, and you, you still want to play bot mode, in my opinion. And it pisses me off that the developers like, don't worry about it, we'll just add it all in later as a giant patch. No, fuck off, you lazy cunt, and don't bother. Don't even release the game on disc if that's what you're going to do. Just to keep it as a fucking digital piece of shit. And then nobody will buy it. Because I don't know about anybody else. And that's why I say I'll speak for myself. I won't buy it. And that's why I've boycotted it this time, guys. Ain't because I'm thinking it's World War II. And it's the same old shit. Blah, blah, blah. That don't bother me. What puts me off is it's a fucking seasonal game. And they treat it. And it's the same shit. And it's the same shit for me in the wrong reasons. It's downloads. It's almost 200 gigs, guys. And you are think, yeah, that's not even on a PS5. PS5 is only 800 gigs off the bat. If you put this game onto it, you'd be fucked. You'd have no room left. And I thought, it, you know, play this game, guys, to see fitting to talk about the other game. Because I'm, just, I don't know, guys, where you guys are at with it. But that's the main reason I didn't buy it. It's got nothing to do with the fact that it's World War II or it's going to get recycled. Play Battlefield or any game. It's the same game in the, the day. It's shooting people. It's running around. That don't bother me, right? I enjoy it. I think it's fun. It's all about the maps in the end of the day is what makes the game and the attachments you could put on a gun. At the end of the day, right, a game is... If they're going for simulation, realistic, then fair enough, right? But if... In my opinion, they're going for a video game for enjoyment. I think they should throw away that fucking box as they do yeah and just have fun with it guys make attachments that wouldn't really be on guns in real life make it absurd make it different i mean they do it with the characters guys they've added ghost face into this for 17 fucking quid i might add which i think is bollocks but you now look they added him in it you usually see ghost face running around a real battlefield guys so if they could do it with characters why can't they do it with gun attachments add shit you wouldn't normally see you know make the game fun but that's not the point, you know. What makes the game for me is the maps. So I weren't bothered that it was in World War Two. I weren't bothered about the fact that people said it's the same old fucking game and you're going to get the same old shit. No, 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 right? I'm not bothered about that. All that really put me off the game and generally did put me off the game is the fact of knowing that every year now the game comes out and expects you to patches and updates and shit like that and I think what i'm saying is true yeah that's lazy and bollocks at the end of the day it's released in a state of brokenness and even after the updates and patches people are still admitted that they take two or three years to develop each game what the fuck were they doing I understand that graphics are getting better and better, but they ain't really no different, guys, because they've always got a template from the old game. They don't make the game from scratch. The zombies are still the same zombies in all the games. They just use a template, and they might, like, detail them a little bit more. They'll take this exact bare bones they've got here, guys. They'll take the bones of this graphics of this game, and they'll just replace different parts of different things to make the map different. They'll reskin the zombies to make them look different. So you can't tell me it takes three fucking years for them to send out a broken piece of shit. I think they spend majority of their time just thinking, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It'll take bare minimum of a month to make the game because we won't be bothered. And then we'll just send out a broken piece of shit and get a big paycheck for it. At the end of the day, Call of Duty had a name. And they built that name on people that enjoyed the first games, guys. Call of Duty 1 on PlayStation 2 and all that. And then, you know, they made it awesome. You know, I'm not going to lie, guys. When Black Ops 1 came out and that lot and Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2, they had a fucking massive following, did Call of Duty. They was untouchable. Battlefield wasn't even a thing when Call of Duty came on the scene. And the thing is, yeah, I ain't got a lie, guys. Right, Call of Duty, they could have wrote anything and people would have bought it. And they do that now, guys. But they're losing their fans 
because they're becoming lazy and they're not giving a shit. They're just looking at the same thing that every other company's doing, and that is suits and money. Suits and money. You got a bloke with a fucking suit saying, "How fast can you print and paste this piece of shit?" It's pretty much a fucking. It's a restaurant now, guys. It's a shit shaped restaurant though. Instead of using the ovens and making it all fresh produce, yeah, in the sense of what I'm trying to explain is, they're using a microwave, guys, and that's what this game is. It's a microwave frozen meal every fucking year. They ain't got the time to use fresh products, fresh produce, and put it in an oven, guys. They're like, fuck that, that take too long, test too much for me. I'll just bung it in the microwave and give you a fucking frozen pizza for your meal at a hanky-danky restaurant. And that's this, guys. It's got the hanky-danky restaurant's fucking name being Call of Duty, but it's a frozen meal, guys. They have recycled the same shit, and they're giving us the same shit, and it's not taking three years of fucking development. It's taking one month of development and a lazy fucking team to do it. On any, any, you know, what's the company, I'll say. I don't want any company, guys, to go belly up, you know, go bankrupt. I don't want to sit there like most people do and go, the game is shit for this reason. It's shit for this reason. The only reason this game is shit to me, guys, is because I pay £60, like all you guys do, and more. And more for the fucking, you know, special editions and that. And they just pretty much stand there, yeah, and don't even say thank you for buying our product. They're like, ha, ha, ha. Look at you buying my shit. That just took me a couple of days to make it. Because I refuse to believe this game takes three years of development when it comes out and it's bugged, it's glitched, and it needs patches when they've already got a baseline there from the previous game. They can... That, and that's what they do, guys, right? They take the previous game and they reskin it. Which is fair enough, but at least bring it out fucking available to be fixed. They might... You know, I mean, obviously, guys, they changed the the appearance of the, the soldiers. They have to make a... They get actors in to come and voice the characters. They change the storyline. That's understandable. That's where the time and effort goes. However, it does not take three years to do that and bring out a broken piece of mess. Take a year off, Call of Duty. Take a fucking year off. Make Vanguard great by giving people free DLC and making people happy. And then knock it out of the park with the next one. For fuck's sake, take a year off. And come back with a full game campaign on the fucking disc. No patches, no updates, none of that shit. And give us bot mode on the fucking disc. Because people that collect the game, that's where long-term value comes in it for them. If you're a seasonal player and you play the game just to play online. And then you basically... Bin that fucking game when the next one comes out. Fair enough. Fair enough. You're all entitled to play the game how you want to play it. But for people that want to play the game as a collector and go back later. Like, I like playing Black Ops 3, guys. I go back and I play Black Ops 3 because I love Black Ops 3. Uh, my favorite map on there is the one where it's got the water either side and they've got the buildings you can run in. I don't know the name of the map. I really don't. But that's my favorite map of all. Uh, Black Ops 2, it was hijacked. I love hijacked. That was an awesome fucking map. I know they put it back in this game, but, you know, the thing is, it's just a little too much, too little, too late, you know what I mean? With a sense of the patches and the updates. We want to finish game. I'm not asking for a 20-hour campaign. I'm sufficed with a six or seven-hour campaign. I don't care. I don't care about... It's the fucking thing is on the disc. So that when I go home and I put it in and the game discs installs and you think, fuck, that took ages to install. And then you go on and find out there's nothing even there. I mean, it is it's shit. It's just bollocks at the end of the day. And, you know, the more we're allowing companies to do it, the more they are doing it. You can hear them. You can see them doing it with every fucking game now. Fucking hell. It seems to added more fucking zombies and dogs into this fucking... Well, oh, it might be just me, but I don't know. I ain't played this in months, guys. But, you know, that's that's my point. You know, what's everyone else's point? Please leave it in the comments down below. Let me know, guys. You know, I, I don't mind if you are saying I'm wrong. Let me know why you think I'm fucking wrong. But to be honest, guys, I haven't said Call of Duty is a shit game. I've said their tactics in the way they release it and the way... They see that's fine to release it in that state is not really acceptable, is it? 
And if you think that is, then you're just quite satisfied with a fucking frozen microwave meal, in my opinion. And willing to pay 30 quid for a microwave meal. And if you are, guys, fucking line up at my door. Because I'll, fro I'll fucking give you frozen lasagna for a pound for 30 quid. I don't fucking mind. Make me rich. I don't give a shit. But I'm not willing to do that, guys. And that's my point. That's only my point with it. I don't care that it's World War II. I don't care that people are saying it's the same shit. I don't really understand where they're going with that, personally. Because where more can you go with it? You don't want space futuristic shit. You don't want... You know, what can you do with a gun game, guys? It's either war or some form of faction or something, you know? That doesn't bother me. What bothers me is I can't play the game on launch date without a giant patch, an update, and it's nothing's on the disc. And I just feel like it's a waste of fucking money. That's my gripe. That's the only gripe I got, guys. And like I said, you can come at me, guys, with your opinions, and you can give your opinion all you want. I'm not one for fucking criticising what you guys have to say as well. At the end of the day, we're only talking to our opinion. I've laid it out there. By all means, come at me. Fucking tell me what you think I'm talking out of my ass. Whatever. Or if you agree with me, guys, then, you know, awesome. But, you know, what should we do about it, guys? You know, we need to fucking... We need to get our point across that they're going to lose their company if they don't start making things right. Because all it's going to do is piss more people off. I mean, every year you hear people say, oh, I'm, I'm not buying another one. I'm not buying another one. I'm not. They're just losing more and more fans because they're making it and pushing it to be an online-only game. And that's not where Call of Duty started off with. Call of Duty started off as a World War One slash World War II first-person shooting army game like Medal of Honor. And it made it. I mean, obviously, moving on with the times, we wanted improved graphics. But don't fix what weren't fucking broken. We didn't want you to make it all online and fuck it up completely. We wanted different storylines. We wanted better graphics. We didn't say, yeah, now fuck it. I mean, the it's just going wrong. I mean, like, Sony's PlayStation 5 launch. That has been a fucking shambles. And the reason it's been a shambles is because they've allowed scalpers over and over again to keep buying and taking all the stock. Which is bollocks, because I want a PS5, guys, as many of you guys do. Some of you probably don't, so I'm not going to speak for everyone. But for myself, guys, I really want a PS5. I really want an Xbox Series X. But getting your hands on one is fucking ridiculous. I have to either bend over and take it up the fucking ass by the scalpers and pay seven, eight hundred pounds for it. But the same console is only 450 quid brand new with a fucking guarantee and all that shit. I'd rather wait and buy that. But the thing is, even I've got to admit, guys, I'm starting to get impatient. I mean, I've waited the best part of a fucking year and I still ain't got one. And that's starting to become fucking ridiculous. I mean, there's all these cool games out there like Ratchet and Clank and fucking... For the Xbox, guys, I can't wait. Can I play it? No. Halo's coming out in Christmas in December. And yeah, you know, here I am. Wanting to play these games, and they're just as expensive as the fucking games I'm paying now, but I can't get them, guys. I ain't got the fucking console. And it's all right to say that you can get them everywhere. eBay's got them. Yeah, but eBay want fucking 800, 500, 600, and you know, for 450 fucking quid, I can get it brand new from the actual manufacturer, so it's stupid. I'm not a satisfied customer. I mean, it's done now. You can't fucking fix what's broke, you know what I mean? But. My opinion, guys, is, right, with the recession and the fact that we was all in COVID and lockdown and shit, I didn't understand why this Christmas now, they should have released the Xbox and PlayStation this year. Look how many systems they've had go out since and the scalpers have took, guys. They would have had enough now to have pre-orders for everybody. And the fact is, right, that I had more time for more game developers to bring games. Look at the games that's out for PlayStation 5 and Xbox, guys. If they would have brought that out this year for Christmas, that would have been the number one fucking selling thing for Christmas this year. You'd have had Forza Horizon 5 ready to go on launch. Look, would have had um, Halo coming out at Christmas, so that would have been fucking awesome. You'd have had every other fucking game like Ratchet and Clank and that... Um, Death Loop and all that would have been ready to go on PlayStation and Xbox and stuff. It would have been the number one selling fucking thing this year. But no, they brought it out the year when fucking the recession happened. And fucking everyone had been COVID. And they fucked it, guys. Nobody could afford it. And the ones that could afford it pre-ordered it. The pre-orders went bollocks. I pre-ordered an Xbox, guys. Got fucked over. So I cancelled my order on my Xbox. Or PlayStation. If I could get it right. I hate this fucking mission. So I'm probably going to die, guys, talking shit here, but... Well, that, that's, 
you know, it is only my opinion, guys. I understand that. But why the fuck are they? There you are. I just don't understand why the whole world's going down this shitty bollocks fucked up route of fucking everything up. Sony had nothing to lose, guys. They had nothing to lose. Neither did Xbox. The Xbox One was still doing really fucking well. The PlayStation 4 is doing very fucking well. They could have waited and brought the Xbox and PlayStation 5 out this Christmas, like I said, and give everybody a chance to buy one. Because everyone's been back at work, kind of. You know, it's been hit and miss. But it's been a lot better than 2020 was. Not for my year. 2021's been absolutely shit for me. But, you know, the point I'm getting at is it's been a better year for majority of people. You're either back at work, got a little bit better, and, you know, you could afford a new fucking console. They're not at this one, are they? They're kicking the shit out of B. And I'm trying to fucking still do A. See, this is why this is fucked. Well, that one's fucking done. Let's get to this one before they fuck it. See, they didn't think this one through on a single player. This bit's hard as fuck. Because they fucking attack both at the same time. You can't be in both places at once. <laughs> but... You know, that's my fucking gripe with it. Shit. I've left the fucking circles, so I ain't gonna help. Have they added more fucking zombies to this guys, or is that just me? But I don't remember there being this fucking many. Well, we managed to do it, fuck knows how, but we did. I don't know if it's still something in this one. I'd have to be hiding, probably disappeared if it is still there or not. I don't know, but I was gonna fucking die for it. But yeah, yeah at the end of the day, guys, let me know low down below, guys, if you think what I'm saying is fucking either legit or bollocks with yourself. You know, I mean, I'm not the fucking brightest tool to shed as you guys know, but you know. That's my verdict on it. By the way, guys, I have noticed that the subscribers are going up on the channel, guys. So I will like to say thank you to that. Because, you know, fucking awesome. Um, I'm hoping, guys, to do, like I said, I was going to start doing giveaways. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in to talk about more about that in a separate video, guys. But I am going to start doing giveaways, guys, starting in the new year. So I'll just let that know now that it's going to start from January. But I'll explain more about that um, near the time, guys. And, and I'll explain how it's going to work and what not and blah 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 but you know right now guys just know that please put me somewhere decent do not take me to that fucking dark shitty fucking map oh if that puts me in that fucking it's a sanctuary i think it is i don't want to go there i do not want to go there oh shit on a fucking asshole wank bastard bitch i fucking knew it i i, I tell you guys right me and my wife fucking take a piss of each other all day for this. My wife plays this game and she never gets this fucking map. I go on the game and I get this map every fucking time and I hate it. It's dark, it's boring, it's depressing, and it's it's just it's just shit. <laughs> you know, there's no like colourful lights or anything in the game. I know there's zombies guys, but why the fuck do you want to play a game mode in the complete pitch black, dark, boring fucking Oh man? I don't know, guys, but anyway, guys, still talk about rubbish at a minute, so we'll get back to what I was talking about in the Call of Duty ways, like I said. So, that's the main reason I haven't picked up Vanguard, guys. Um, I think a lot of people was, you know, like, yeah, he'll get it, he'll get it. And to be honest, guys, I nearly did. I nearly did. Um, but I, I held my guns, you know, I held my guns, and the fucking, I'm glad I did. Because I've heard so many people slagging the game off already. And I'm just like, oh, I'm glad I fucking saved myself fucking 55 quid. Because I've never had a problem with Call of Duty's graphics. The graphics are amazing. But look at this. It's fucking amazing, in my opinion. But I just don't understand where the logic comes in. Where they're like, let's make the fucker and make a patch. It's so fucking lazy at the end of the day. I'll tell you what's done it, guys. I'm not, I, you know, I don't want to admit it, but it is. It's social media. It's internet that's done it. 
They knew damn well on PlayStation 1 they couldn't release a broken fucking game because they knew damn well if it didn't work, everyone got their money back. Doesn't matter nowadays. They go, oh, we'll just make an update and a patch. It's acceptable. Uh, it's fucking not. It should be the same rules. You want a quality when you buy something. And the, f I mean, I find it embarrassing that they're willing to put their name on it. Yeah, try Arch made this. What? Try Arch make shit. I mean, I don't understand, guys. Right? I wouldn't. I'd be embarrassed to put my name on this game. And be like, yeah, we sent out a glitchy, broken piece of shit, and you have to wait nearly fucking eight hours to fucking play it for an update and a patch, and, and don't think about playing any other games, because you're going to need all the room you can to play this fucking one. You know, they're taking away what a video game console was all about. It was about bringing people together, enjoying a good game, you know, making you have memories, guys, and that. And everyone from my era... Who's played a PlayStation 1 always say the same thing. Oh, fucking hell. Do you remember that game? Oh, yeah, I remember that game. I used to play for hours. Me and my brother. Me and my friends. Blah, blah, blah. You saw you ever hear. But you notice you don't hear that with PlayStation 4 games. And Xbox One games. You don't hear, oh, yeah, me and my brother. Or me, we, yeah, nothing. Nothing. I'm not saying that people don't enjoy the games. Because, of course, you still do. But it don't bring people together like it used to. You know, some people might get excited about DLC, like, oh, that looks really cool. And you'll get some people like, oh, I can't afford it. My mum and dad don't have a salary enough to pay £19 after paying £60 fucking pound plus £50 fucking quid a year to play the fucking thing. Plus fucking whatever else you need. I think owning a Ferrari would be cheaper than a PlayStation nowadays. And that's saying something. Oh, not you, you bastard. Fuck off till I get a better gun. I swear they've added more fucking shit, guys. I mean, maybe I should pack a punch with guns. But, like I said, guys, you know, I'm just rambling at the minute. I know I'm rambling. Well, fuck it, anyways. But I'm trying to get my point across without being, you know, coming across as nitpicking everything about the game. It's not about that for me, guys. I'm just, I'm basically just trying to understand and get someone to tell me why they why they accept it i don't accept it guys i just think it comes down to poor fucking development and shit and i don't understand how it should in this day and age with the amount of money and the amount of fucking teams nowadays you know i mean but it's like they want to do it guys it's not like it is poor development it's like they actually want to do it like that because you hear them when they're at E3, going on about, we're going to make a game, and, and by the way, if you pre-order the game now, you get this, and you get this. What do you mean if you pre-order the game now, you get this, 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 this? You haven't even made the game yet. So you're telling me you already made the idea of making DLC before you made the fucking game. It's just bullshit, guys. I mean, DLC, right? I'm, I'm all down to everyone making an extra buck or two, yeah. But... Who agrees, guys, right? Do you think all DLC is worth the money you pay, right? I'm not gonna lie, guys. Some DLC I've bought is cheap. You don't mind losing 79p a pound. I mean, all right, let's give an example, guys, right? Um, Call of Duty skins, right? If the ghost face killer on here would have been, like, £2.50, hmm, that's pretty reasonable, guys, don't you think? For someone that put a skin in the game. Now think about it, guys, right? If that was £2.50, imagine how many people could afford £2.50. You don't mind £2.50, guys. You think £2.50 is Halloween? Fuck it. I like playing the game. I'll treat myself. I'll buy the ghost face skin. It's a skin. It's a costume. It's not fucking buying a separate game. It's not an entire fucking new map, especially for him. It's not fucking anything else. It's just a skin. It's just an extra character, guys. That's it. So you think £2.50 is reasonable, yeah? So do I. But these idiots want £17 fucking pounds. £17, pound, guys. 2,500 COD points for a fucking skin. And they, and they sleep at night thinking that's fine. I think that's uh, unfucking fair and us as people that buy it and make them rich we should fucking make a stand 
and say, look, mate, £2.50 for a skin is not bad, but fucking £17 for a fucking digital skin, you can kiss my ass, mate. Nobody can afford that nowadays. Fuck me, man. They don't understand how much bills cost nowadays. I, I'm struggling, guys. I'm struggling like fuck. And, you know, I couldn't do it. I mean, I, 17 pounds nearly another fucking game to me. In some cases, it is another game. I'm not, I'm not, couldn't do it. I can't justify it. I mean, you know, downloadable content on any, on any platform, any structure is not worth that. Fuck it, we're gonna go down, guys. They smell worse when they go down. I'm changing this gun. I know I've pack a punch it, guys, but... Fucking shit. I'll just self-revive myself, fuck it. I'm not gonna go do the tombstone shit. Get out. So, you know, I, I know some people get my points and they know I'm making sense with it because I'm not just here shitting on the game saying it's shit, it's shit, it's shit. It's not shit. Call of Duty's not shit. And, you know, people can say it isn't that, but it's, it's generally it's not. It's the development and it's the way that they, they release it and it's the way they want to do it. At the end of the day, I find the graphics and everything is amazing on these games. And I find them a lot of fun, guys. I enjoy playing them. If I didn't, I wouldn't buy them. But the reason that's put me off buying them is all to do with that fucking shitty online crap. Need an online connection, need a patch, need this. And I find that shit. It's like the consoles, guys, right? When you buy them from new, they need to be hooked up to the internet. What the fuck is that? I've ordered a console, not a PC. It should be optional. The game's console from day or dot when you buy it should be ready to play. You shouldn't have to have a fucking update, a patch, and fucking spin around like a dog after, especially after you've paid them nearly 600 fucking quid. How the fuck I think that's worth that? <laughs> I really don't know. But, you know, again, though, guys, right? Again, I've said this multiple times, yeah? The console itself, if it needs an update before you can even install games, play games or anything, why? Explain to me why they don't release the console with a fucking installation data disk. Why do you make us go online like some corporal bastard and have to do it? Alright, you got everyone's got the internet nowadays. Not everybody's got the internet nowadays. What about people that live out in a fucking country where they're internet shit? You know? Do they not matter? No, they don't fucking matter, you know? We just, we go, we go for people that can afford it. Yeah, well, that ain't fucking fair. That's being discriminative, in my opinion. It really fucking is. It's like this year, guys. How many people have you heard say, ban fireworks? Ban fireworks, ban fire... I'm going to make a separate video on that, guys. I am. I'm going to make a rant on that. So if you like my rants, guys, stay tuned, because I'm going to make one on that fucker. I can That's pissing me off. Keep hearing them say that. Ban fireworks. Ban them. Oh, go fuck yourself. Three people spoil it for every fucker. Oh, fucking hit him then. I want that ammo. And I'm gonna get it. Gonna go around there like Frosty the Dope Man and fucking lick that fucking shit. I mean, I know I've loved nothing but rant in this gameplay, guys, yeah, and I know a majority of it probably don't make much sense to some people, but you, you'll get my point. A lot of you will get my point. And, you know, it's a piss take, guys. I fucking hate this map. The only reason I hate it is, like I said, it's just dark, dingy, and depressing. I know it's not dark, you can't see, but it's dark and depressing. Over all the other maps, anyway. My favourite one's the one with the snow, guys. I love the snow level. I don't know why, but I find all the Call of Duty get, um, multiplayer maps and all that with snow. I find them really fun to play. I, I like them personally. Um, all the, like, the water levels and that lot, I really enjoy them. I think they're different. There's something really cool. I would like if they made like, a fun fair one. I know they did like a water park one once. So that was pretty cool. But I think they should do like a proper fun fair one where you can get like a Ferris wheel and shit and fucking... And in the arcade and shoot in the arcade and that lot. I know they did it in like a Zombies with the Clowns. And I think that was in Advanced Warfare. But I, you know what I mean? It's not the same thing. I would love a complete theme park and arcade level. That would be awesome. But 
but no, nah, it's just stupid, guys. I mean, I saw game franchises, certain games, you know, they, they disappear, like Gex the Gecko and stuff like that. And it's like you think, you know, what happened to them? You know, why'd you get rid of them? You know, you think, oh, people thought the games were shit. Well, that's because of back on PlayStation 1 and stuff. The game fucking play was fucking glitchy and the controls were bad. You can make them now and they'd be better still. No, don't want to do that. We want to keep making the same fucking games. First person shooters. Oh. Oh, where the fuck that guy? Here, lassie. Where the fuck? Oh. Well, that, that's my early gripe, guys. That's my early point. You know, I tried to make it. You know, I'm not, I'm not unbiased to the fact to sit there like you know, trying to slag off a certain game company for the wrong reasons, guys. I ain't gonna sit there going the game shit, the shit, just shit. Why the shit? Oh, it's just shit because it's the same old thing, same old thing. That, you know, you can't. I understand. You can, there's only so much you could do with a fucking first-person shooter game. You know, and they can't make it any different than what they are. That's not my point. The, my, my gripe is, like I said, it's not on the disc. Downloads, updates, patches, all that shit. That's just fucking too much. You know, I, I wouldn't care if the game was fucking free. Because, you know, what the fuck is free? You can't murder someone fucking free. You know, I never moan at Fortnite, guys, because it's fucking free. I mean, don't get wrong, there's still fucking crates and shit you can buy. But that's entirely up to you. You're not forced to. You know, all the people out there that think for some reason buying a certain character in the game makes you more powerful. Like buying fucking Thanos or whatever. Yeah, you know, that makes me better in the game. No, it's just the same fucking game. It's just a skin. <clears throat> it's just it's just fucking stupid, guys. You remember back in the day when you bought like FIFA? FIFA 2000 and it was all on the disc. Not now. To buy your dream team, it'll cost you 60 fucking quid or more. You're like, what? Fuck it, I'm exaggerating that. I know it's more than that, cunt. I see people on YouTube spending hundreds of pounds trying to get a dream team, and I don't even know what a dream team is, guys. I have no clue. I don't follow football that well, guys. The only thing I know about football is chance, beer, hooligans, David fucking Beckham and Wayne Rooney. That's all I know. I don't know much else about it. I ain't gonna sit there saying I do and I don't. I only I watch football when we're in the World Cup just to watch us get out of the World Cup because that's what always happens, even though I think we're paid off. Because this is fucking remarkable, guys. We're like, we're doing so well, we're doing great. We get right to the end and then we lose. And like, when they lose, you can see they're like, you know, they're like, not even bothered anymore. It's like, eh, give up with it. Why well, ain't getting into that fucking hell? Get people on football talk and that's it. They're like, oh, you fucker. But you know. The point is, every fucking game that comes out. I remember when it was a one two thing, you know, it was rare. But now every game's doing it. Every fucking game's jumped on that band wanking. I won't even say wagon, I will say wanking, because that's what it is. They're like, yay, pre order to get this gun skin. Pre order now to get this fucking. Even the wrestling games, every game, boxing game. You wait, there'll be a boxing game that comes out again, guys. Guess what? Mike Tyson will be the downloadable character when you pre order it, or Lennox Lewis, or. Fucking Muhammad Ali, some fucker will be a downloadable fucking bonus for pre-ordering a fucking game. Like if Ready to Rumble Boxing came out today, guys, Michael Jackson would have been the character that you'd have got if you'd have pre-ordered the fucking game. Stupid. Absolutely fucking stupid. It's corporal twats that keep making things more money. What are they gonna do? Fucking make tins of soup with little screens on the fucker in the shops one day to do that. Hi, I see you're looking at the tomato soup. But for today, I name's Barry. And if you buy this tomato soup, we'll give you a free spoon. Pre-audible right now. Fuck off, you twat. It's bollocks, guys. It's all suits to make more money. Bollocks. The shit we don't want is tricking our brains. We want it. We've got to have it. No, we fucking don't. Trust me, I had to smack myself in the face a few times this week to tell myself I do not want Call of Duty. I'm glad, I'm glad. I Honestly, I'm not going to lie, guys, the hype was there. I thought, I'm going to miss out. I'm going to fucking miss out. Everyone's going to have it, and I'm going to miss out. I want it, and I'm glad I didn't, guys. I am so fucking glad I didn't buy it. Because all I've heard so far is it's a broken piece of shit, and I'm glad I didn't fucking buy it. And what's wrong with this one, guys? I know this one's fucked. Better the devil you know, eh? 
<laughs> but, you know, that's the, that's the thing that's funny. You'd expect them to change it. Oh my god, everywhere I go is bosses. If I die, I die, guys, but fuck it, hell. He's got a fucking creepy shit voice here. Yeah. Take that, bitch. Oh, fuck, you got a brother. Well, you're definitely twins because you're both fuck ugly and you're both dead. Ooh, what is this? He had Sergeant's best friend. I mean, technically, this is Vanguard, isn't it, guys? Technically? I mean, think about it. It is technically Vanguard. I mean, the game's not on the disc like Vanguard. And... Massive updates like Vanguard. And, yeah, it's Vanguard. I'm not missing out. What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where else are they? There. Like I said, guys, I will apologise if it come across as fucking me being fucking annoying or whatever, guys, you know, just like moaning late. about games all the time. But I, I just can't understand why they're getting worse over years. They're not getting any better. I mean, you might understand if there was, like, you know, with COVID, you could understand an odd game getting out of shit because, you know, development came to a halt. Then, you know, they had to work around it and that lot. But they've been making these shitty fucking games beforehand. Broken mess. And I don't understand how they can release it and want to release it in such a broken way that puts people off their company. I mean, how many people stopped going to McDonald's, guys, yeah, if they gave you just a fucking bun and no meat inside it? You'd be like, fuck that after a while. You'd be pissed the fuck about going there. You know, you go to buy a fucking a Ferrari and find out it's got a fucking Ford Mondeo engine in it or something. You wouldn't want it. You'd be pissed. You'd be fucking pissed. You'd feel so cheaped out. You'd be like, oh, fuck. No? Knock, knock. Go buy a Toyota Supra. It's got a Vauxhall Nova engine in it. You'd be fucking pissed. I tell you now, you wouldn't have very long. You'd take that fucker back. You'd be like, no, 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 no. So I don't understand why the same principles don't work for everything. It's broken. They should fucking give us our money back. And admit the fact that they'll never release a broken piece of shit like that again. But nope, it happens yearly. Well, I said, guys, I can't believe how many games have this fucking pre-order bonus and DLC. Every game now, guys. But like I said, guys, you must remember back in the day, like PlayStation 3 early days. They didn't have that. You didn't get... Hi, boy, resistance full of man, and you'll get a free fucking gun. Hey, get Motor Storm 2 and get this free car. There were none of that shit. And I hate to fucking say it, but it was Call of Duty and Battlefield that started that shit. It was EA and fucking Activision that started that shit. With their season passes and map packs and shit. Then everyone jumped on the bandwagon. Because you notice Need for Speed's made by EA, and EA makes fucking Battlefield, and it's them fuckers that keep making this downloadable shit. Oh, fuck. We're dead, guys. I ain't going down that fucking fight. Got him. Another boss somewhere down there. See if we can get him all the insta kills on. Don't think we're gonna get down there, guys. But we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. But honestly, guys, how many of you guys have actually boycotted Vanguard this time for that? I mean, I like to give people honest opinions. Yeah, I don't like to spread the shit. I don't like to say to you guys, yeah, go out and get Vanguard. Because uh, no, don't. Unless of course you want to. You know, it's up to you. And you don't fucking make it sound like I'm making you make either decision. <laughs> but. I'm just saying, guys, right, for the first time ever, I actually don't feel like... Fuck, I died. But I don't actually feel like, oh, fuck, I missed it out, guys, and I wish I bought it. I'm, I'm happy.
And to be honest, guys, this is the first Call of Duty game, yeah, ever. And I mean that, guys, ever, that I've never bought on launch date. I've bought them all. I bought Call of Duty 2, big red one. I bought Call of Duty on 360 when it first came out day of launch. I bought Call of Duty 3 on PlayStation 3. Uh, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. Um, I bought, what was after that one? I think it was World at War, bought that one. Um, then I bought, I think it was uh, Black Ops 1, bought that one. Then Modern Warfare 3, bought that one. Then it was Black Ops 2, and well, then Ghost. And I've bought them all, guys. I've never missed a single Call of Duty. This is the first ever one that I've stuck to my guns and not bought it. And I'm glad, guys. I'm just fucking glad. It's, it's bollocks. It's stupid. Really, really fuck it is. But, you know... What can you do about it? What can you do about it? You know, you're, we're all little fucking pieces in an engine at the end of the day. But if more people joined us, guys, and said, look, no, fuck it. I'm not doing it. Like, look at this, guys. Look. You pay for all this. It's just digital shit. Look, your skin... On the same fucking gun you've already got, guys. Just a different colour, but it's the same fucking gun. Money. Look, oh, that's free for Vanguard. Wow. Oh, look. Free for Vanguard. Yeah. You shove Vanguard up your ass. And then, like, if you go across, guys, to this uh, the store. Look at it. 60 fucking quid for Vanguard. And look, 18 pound, 18 fucking pound. 18 pound for her, for this. I don't see what the fucking big hoorah is. Oh, look, guys, she changes colour. That's why it's worth 18 pound. She must be invincible then. You can't die in the game, guys. She's worth 18 fucking pound. 18 pound. I, I don't understand. At, my, at best, these guys are worth maybe three pound a piece. They're a skin. That's all it is. It's just to make you look different in the game to everybody else. It's not worth fucking 18 quid. 18 quid to be fucking Bruce Willis. Go on PlayStation 1, buy Die Hard Trilogy. There you go. You could be Bruce Willis for about two fucking pound 50. Rambo. Ah, uh, simple. Buy Mortal Kombat 11, the Ultimate Edition, and you can have him in that fucker. That's stupid, man. it really is. Fucking price all this shit. Oh, man, I'm never gonna understand, guys. Clearly, I'm not. I must be fucking getting old if I don't understand how this is fucking just stupid. I really don't get it. Limited time for Scream. My ass, you said that for Rambo, yet yeah, he's still on there to buy. He's just wait, people go, oh shit, you gotta take it off. I want him. Like I said, guys, I will apologise that it's a rant video, but it's just... I don't know why they keep doing it, you know? It's not like a one and done, is it? They keep doing it every year, every fucking year. But the last four fucking games they've brought out have been the same fucking thing. None of it on the disc, all campaign, all the multiplayer is on a fucking digital download after you've bought the game, and oh, I just don't get it. I don't understand. It's not worth that fucking amount to me anymore. So, if, if fucking Call of Duty fucking want to know why I don't buy it anymore, that's why. That's fucking why. It's bullshit. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end the gameplay here. Hopefully, you guys understand my um, rant. Hopefully, you guys actually made it this far. I didn't get bored and turn it off. If you guys did make it this far, I have noticed, guys, that the subscribers are going up. That is fucking awesome, and I do appreciate it. Really do appreciate it, guys. Thanks for sticking with me. And... Thanks again, guys, because I ain't been putting out much. I know I ain't put out much. But New Year, guys, going to be new stuff coming. And I'm going to make a separate video, like I said, guys, on how I'm going to start doing a giveaways, guys, and how it works and all of that. Um, so, you know, if you want to know about that, wait for my separate video, and I'll explain how I'm going to do it, what it's going to involve and all that shit. Uh, so that'd be cool. And also, though, guys, I am going to probably make a video about this firework crap because I am sick and I am fucking tired and I'd love to get your guys' opinion separately on the firework shit because, I mean, this sport and everyone's fucking fun. But I'll get into that in another video, guys. All I'm going to do right now, guys, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one, guys.